Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we are playing Dota 2. But your ultimate doesn't have a cooldown. It still has a mana cost though, so it's not endless spamming. Although, with a little bit of mana you can definitely get a lot of work done. Also, this video is sponsored, brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace, of course, being a fantastic all-in-one platform for all of your website and online store needs. I very much deeply recommend them. So if you would like to, there's a link in the description. Go take a look. I would appreciate it. All right, let's get into the game. I don't know, I didn't like that one very much. So let's just try this again. All right. We got to make sure to ban all global ultimates at the beginning. And I think we want to go way faster with the golden experience. All right, let's let's do 500%. Make sure to actually enable the kill limit. And then go from there. But yeah, it is, it is raining quite a lot. <clears throat> oh, it's true. I still have more tea. 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 Very good tea. <clears throat> Can we record any Casimiro clashes? I don't have a plan for Casimiro clash right now, but uh, maybe. I don't know. This, so we'll go with this again. So it's just no cooldowns. All right. <clears throat> okay, cool, 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 cool. Mana is, is still a consideration then. That's something to keep in mind. Ten seconds remaining. All right. You gotta ban the global guys. Are those all the global guys? I think yeah. Right, Zeus. Oh, oh, Pango! I get to be a perma ball. Yes. No. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Draw range. <laughs> Pango doesn't work. Why does Pango not work? Next game he had cooldown. Oh. Okay. Do you guys want to rehost? We have like four heroes with passive ultimates. <laughs> I think this is probably a good rehost, right? Like <laughs> this is like it's like the worst lobby for this game on. Let's just rehost. Quick check, are you doing good? Is everything alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I am more than chill. I've got everything under control. I like that we just played a bit of a different game format. That's a nice break. I was thinking that maybe like mornings and late evenings should be like dedicated to some non-Dota shit. You guys want to play some Dark Souls tonight? I keep talking about Dark Souls and then never actually doing it. But do you guys want to play some Dark Souls tonight? I think that sounds kind of fun. All right, okay, we got this, we got this. All right, let's try again. Dark Souls 3 with us? Yeah, that's, that sounds fun. Ten seconds, really? Like Dark Souls 3 and you guys can, like I make a new character and you guys can join at like various points and like connect together. Although I'm not gonna play each area over and over again. I'm just gonna like put down, I'm gonna like be human and, and do summons all the time. Oh my God. I'm starting to feel like this is maybe a stupid mode. Okay. Do we, instead of, instead of playing only with ultimates, no cooldown? Okay, actually let's play this. Let's play it, let's go. Alright, so mana costs are still a thing. 
But no, there's there's some stuff. There's another Jar Ranger. <laughs> oh my god. And Ricky. Oh, I feel a bit bad for you guys. Wait, wait, Ricky might actually be good because he has no cooldown. Is it just like permanently invisible then? I don't know. I don't know. Ricky might actually be okay, but I think that's a fate time. That's not a cooldown, right? Maybe we could just make it like everything has no cooldown. Because like things maintain their mana costs. I don't know. Let's just play it like this. All right, we got Huskar. Now Huskar has a fun advantage, right? Because Huskar doesn't have a mana cost on the ultimate. That's perfect, right? We don't need to worry. We don't need to worry about mana at all. Perfect. Sick. We got to get an Agonims. And then we're just going to spam life break on folks. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Asuka. See, he's excited. And that's what really matters, isn't it? I think that's what's really important. Now, uh, really quickly, at the start of this video, I would like to bring up uh, something. So I've seen a few people ask about the, about the Kickstarter thing here. What about the PayPal donations? Have they been added into the Kickstarter pool yet? No. And I ideally would prefer not doing that at all. And let me briefly explain why. So on Kickstarter, you have fees, right? Pretty hefty fees because they take a cut just for running it on Kickstarter and then processing fees. Generally, it adds up to about 10%. The PayPal donations currently are just sitting in my PayPal account. And we're going to... Oh, by the way, pledges. I shouldn't call them donations. They're not donations. I mean, they kind of are, but also you do get a game. You do get some stuff in return, right? Like... So pledges is the, the word that is usually used for them. Um, but anyway, setting that aside. Hello, buddy. Setting that aside. If we hit the goal, then it would be better if the PayPal stuff wasn't added into the Kickstarter. Right? Because if we add it into the Kickstarter, which we would do if we're just pledging on the Kickstarter, uh, we actually would have to pay fees, right? We would have to pay those... Um, what am I saying here? We would have to pay those uh, 10%. But if we don't do that... Okay, so this is probably not a great idea. <laughs> but we got him. Alright, we got him. Right? But if we don't do that, then we don't have to pay those fees. So we just get more money out of the money. Now, there's one situation... Uh, so there's kind of like two things that come along with this that need to be said. First, what about stretch goals? Right? Will you still count this money towards stretch goals? Yes, absolutely. 100%. Second, um, if it's looking like we are not actually going to hit the 20k... Like, if it, if it seems like, ah, okay, wait, this might not actually happen. Then, what I will do, I will add this money in towards the later stages of the Kickstarter. Right? I Like, if there's, like, one or two days remaining, then we will add it in to get us that final push. But unless that's, gonna, unless that's the case, which at this stage is looking a little unlikely. <laughs> right? I think right now we can all agree that that's looking a little unlikely. Um, but unless that is the case, I would prefer not adding them into the Kickstarter, just because we can save a bit on fees. Alright, you're out of mana now. Which is the good news for us. And the bad news for you, because I don't need mana. What even is mana? Shit. I need an Agonims. If I had Agonims, I would have no fear about this. Absolutely. Agnims would make all of this just trivial. Alright, let's go. Now we can get some folks. Because Agnims makes it so they have to attack us. Great. It's a stun. It's not exactly a stun, but it's a stun. And we probably want to get... Um... Alright, see? Now Dr. Teaspoon needs to attack us. We just keep doing this. Easy peasy. Very good. Although, I need to get... Hmm, I have a lifesteal. I think a bloodstone is probably best, right? Spell lifesteal. Because this actually does a lot of damage. 
Get blade mail. Oh. Hello. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Perfect. Oscar! What a legend. Hmm. I'm actually not sure about... I kind of want to get an Octarine Core. I'm going to get a Blink Dagger and an... And an Ethelens. The whole point just that I can yeet my, my ultimate from further away. Because as soon as I cast it, I become magic immune, right? So as soon as I cast it, things become easy. Hey, Ricky. Hey, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there's a guy. I don't like it. Well, yeah, it might be fine. Got it. <gasps> Wait, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got me. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, no, you do have me. Okay, you got it. <laughs> hey, Yario Desi, thank you very much for the cat check. We will do the cat check after the game, okay? Because we'll be loading into the next one anyway. We can do a quick little cat check. Actually, we can do a bit of an unusual cat check. Is it okay if I take some liberties with the interpretation of cat check for this one? If that's permissible. No. <laughs> no, that's not not okay. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, you just want to look at the cats. Okay. Apologies. How dare I imply otherwise. Fuck. Ah! Multiple heroes! That's a problem. Oh, but now the... Ah, now this guy's coming in. Snatching up all of my glory. Okay. Nice, good job. That's a good ultra kill. Hmm. I think I should get like a hard. Also, I need I need the. Uh... Hey, buddy! <laughs> Got it. Sorry, what was I saying? No, I should get a hard. I think, and a satanic. Yeah, we'll just go for right click. That seems safest. That seems like it's most likely to be able to sustain us long term. <clears throat> oh no! Oh, it's it's over. We got it. Oh no, Ricky! Oh! We didn't get it. Ricky, everybody's nightmare. What is this guy doing in this game anyway? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you random, Ricky? Unbelievable. <sighs> okay. I mean, Abaddon can just go push. <laughs> if I was Abaddon, I would just be knocking on the front door. I would just start pushing down the base. Alright, just just go and start start beating down these towers. No big deal. No, oh, gotta. So, hmm. Just get a heart? Or just get a heart? But I need to figure something out about the Ricky. Hey, buddy. I am very sorry, my friend. Do I need Octarine Core? I kind of want it. And we're gonna consume the Aghanims anyway. Oh, oh no. 
All right, coming in. No! I'm just always mid-jump. This is my new essence of being. Just a Huskar mid-jump. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, the Audon makes us unkillable. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Abaddon is a pretty strong guy. A pretty powerful little fella. Isn't he? No! Oh, that works. That, that'll do it. Hey! No! Wait, wait, wait. Do I have enough? Can I survive? Yes! Yes! Oracle! What a god. What a legend. I'm fine, man. I got so much healing right now. Get in there! Never mind. Oh, it got pretty close. Oh, that doesn't have a cooldown. Right. I forgot what mode we're playing. I, I, you can use that on careers, I didn't even know that. <laughs> hey, did you guys know you can use Haska ultimate on careers? <laughs> I, I, I did not know that. <laughs> hey, Oracle! Now that's perfect. I kind of wonder what the calculation on my hero is. Like, do you guys think I'm dead or alive? Chat, quick, push one if you think I'm gonna survive. Oh wait, I'm already, I'm back. I wonder how much heal, health I had. I would guess quite a lot. No way, come on, come on. I'm just gonna go in. <laughs> oh. oh dear God. You're dead if the halo above your glows, if the halo doesn't glow, you're alive. Uh, did they fix that? Wasn't that for like a very long time weirdly bugged? I'm not even sure if it was a bug, it's been like that for such a long time, it almost felt intentional. That like, if you died once, it would just stay like you are dead, and it would never like switch back. I feel like there was something of the sort. All right, we get this. Um, hmm. Probably get... Let's just get an overwhelming blank. That one sounds kind of fun. Um, Aghanim's Shard, obviously. And finally... I mean, BKB seems like the obvious thing, but also fuck that shit. I'll just get some armor, probably. Magic resistance is probably not a bad idea. Let's get an eternal shroud. Also, detection wouldn't, wouldn't hurt, would it? Yes! I love, I love my team. My team is so good at supporting me. It's like a Huskar stream. Look at this nonsense. No, I actually died. <laughs> Honestly, they're doing a surprisingly good job keeping us, you know, keeping us away from the ancient. But there's the Abaddon. Yeah, what what you gonna do? What you gonna do about it? Honestly. Cliff. There we go. Nice! Well, that's a good first game. I feel pretty good about that. Last night... This was my bed. Now, when I say this was my bed, I mean... I was sleeping on the floor. There is no bed. So what... 
Oh, wait, where is it? What Mickey did is she went and she got us a little mattress thing. Right. And I thought we could put that up really quick. And any time I put new furniture, like we put new furniture anywhere, um, you gotta show the cats. That's kind of like my thing. You gotta show it to the cats because otherwise the cats freak the fuck out. They'll be like, what the fuck is this? So, so... Let's put that up really quick. No. How do I even... Where does the pump thing even go? Um. <laughs> <laughs> where, we have encountered a problem immediately. Where does the pump, where does the pump thing go? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Um, I'm let's very figure this out by... Oh, there. Oh, it's at the top. It comes out at the top. Yeah. That's strange. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've never seen that before. No. Time to pump! Yeah. Alright! Pump time! <laughs> Is it working? Yeah, it's working. There's some air coming out of here. No, it's fine. Alright, pump time! Yeah! Oh! Now that's... That's good, pumping. Don't we have an electric one? Yeah, for your little... No, that's a water sucker adder. Oh, that's a water sucker. <laughs> Alright! You know my back already hurt? Let me do it again. No, it's fine. <laughs> Gotta get some exercise! Yeah! Party Kirby! Party Kirby! Party Kirby does definitely pump it. I'm gonna earn this bed! Oh my god! There's so much! You have to have it! I barely started it! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not just sleeping on the floor like this. Oh. Oh, you're sweaty. Oh, you sweaty. Well, that was a lot of pumping. He's I sweaty. pumped it like Chad wanted. Be sweaty. Oh my god. Okay. Hello. Sorry for interrupting between the games and whatever the hell else that was. Uh, but I want to remind you guys of Squarespace. Squarespace.com, of course, today's sponsor. And uh, Squarespace is a fantastic tool for building websites. That's what it's really for. And that's what I use it for. So, for example, right here, this is disassles.com. This is one of my websites. I built this using Squarespace. And in fact, I actually used Squarespace to build this website before I was even sponsored by them. I just thought it was a great service even at the time. But you can see here we have like all of this nice little unique layout that we build and you can buy the games or it functions as a store and we have the online version integrated, right? And we have um, like this how to play section here, uh, FAQs, like a little blog that's set up, set up, right? There's all kinds of fun stuff on this website. There's, uh, oh, there's like a, a whole set of like really nice downloads with wallpapers and so on, right? And the thing is, this is all running through squarespace.com. And uh, it was honestly quite easy to set up. It was quite easy to customize. As you can see, this really looks nothing like the templates that I usually show off. That's because you can really do a lot with Squarespace to make it look the way you want it to. So anyway, um, please go have a look. Squarespace.com slash Baumi gets you 10% off. And let's get back to the video. Phantom Lancer has Aghanims. Oh yes, Phantom Lancer does have Aghanims. Phantom Lancer does actually have an active ultimate. I wonder if that works. I wonder if that works. We have Stampede. Never, oh, never strike. You can like bounce back and forth. We actually have kind of, a, kind of a fun team. I'm more an enabler here, I guess. Heroes affected by Stimpede take reduced damage and are able to run through cliffs, obstruct through obstructions, including trees and up cliffs. That sounds pretty neat as well. Alright, I think I think Centaur has some things that might be cool. We'll see if they're gonna work. Oh, that's bad. Oh, actually, I guess we're fine. Gotta be a bit careful with the tower here, though. <laughs> Gotta be a little, little careful with the tower there. Okay. Um... We want Agonims, obviously, but I think I'll start out with some regeneration, just so we have it. Alright, grab this. 
Hmm. Okay then. Yeah, level six is of course the big one. Um, Magnus is gonna be. Is how how good is Magnus gonna be? RP is kind of scary, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't strike me as like the most intense thing. Although it does make it so we can't really approach the Magnus. Right, that's like the tricky part. I got an idea for Sweet Dreams Eyes. You can make so after some special levels on screen, show some dreams which include some Easter eggs about Chroma. Ah, uh, no. Like, I, I get what you're going for, and that's kind of cute. But I, I want to, like, keep the game as its own thing. You know, like, just like Chroma didn't have any references to anything else. Right? There was no pop culture, game references, or anything like that. There were lots and lots of points where people said, Hey, Baumi, you should include some, like, disasters references or something like that in Chroma. But I don't really like doing that. I think it's something... I get it when people do do that, and I don't really think there's anything wrong with it. Don't take it that way. Right? Like, I, I if that's you as a developer, then it's fine. But I, I like to look at things as kind of like... This is its own thing, right? This is its own product. It stands on its own. And I don't really want it to be like referential to other games. So that's just that's just kind of how I look at it. And that's just kind of how I see it. So personally, that's not going to be something that I'll be, I'll be doing. <clears throat> All right. But thank you for the suggestion. I'm glad that you're, you know, thinking about the game. That's always, always cool. Do you want to go in? I can make us go very fast, but you guys don't have mana. Okay, never mind. But I can make us go very fast. Okay. Um, I need Aghanims? I should probably get Aghanims quickly, right? Oh, hello. We got another 15. Oh, thank you. Okay, I gotta extend the timer. Yes, also. Honey, didn't we? What what did we say you're supposed to be doing right now? Snug. No, not snug. No, that's not it. Take a nap. No, not napping. But we're definite. We're definitely not getting closer. No, not petting the cat either. Eat a cake. <laughs> no, I mean the cake. I mean cake would be good, I guess. But that's. Cake. You do have cake. Where do? We, why? Where? How do we have cake? Oh, uh, okay, very good. Anyway, honey, I, I am trying to record a thing here, so maybe you can go and do the thing that you should actually be doing. Eat a cake. N sure, go and eat a cake, I suppose. All right, good luck with that. All right, no studying, just cake, I suppose. <laughs> I guess so be it. Okay, five health region. I mean, movement speed is not actually going to be that important, right? I need a lot of mana. <laughs> I can see this already being an issue. We're going to need just way too much mana to make this work. Because um, this is 250 mana per cast. Ooh, that's, that's a lot. Phantom Lancer Ultimate works, does it? Oh, hello, buddy. No, 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 no. What's your wife studying? Well, right now she's not, which is exactly the problem. <laughs> that's that's kind of the thing I'm trying to solve. Okay. Because she's getting very distracted by the, the stream we're doing here. And the way I look at it... Oh, you gotta chill a bit. Um, but the way I look at it, this stream is going on for a little while longer. And we're gonna be... We're gonna... We're gonna need to... <laughs> to make sure that she actually, you know, gets stuff done that isn't just watching the stream and bursting in through the door every time we get 15 on Kickstarter. So, yeah. I'm gonna sleep on stream. Yes, I actually just got the bed back there. We just got a mattress thing, so I'm not gonna sleep on the floor again like I did yesterday. Although it's not like you can see anything, but I think it's just, you know, it's kind of like the, the, the thing we're doing here, so we might as well go all out, right? 
I think everybody who was like, oh, is Bar are we going to get Bar uh, to sleep on the stream? And I said yes to. I think they were all very disappointed when they saw what that actually looks like. Because I turned off all the lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I turned off all of the lights. Because <laughs> I can't have the lights on while I'm sleeping. It's just, it's just, I cannot do that. I will not be able to sleep. So, there's just no real, no real point to it, to be completely honest, but again, we're just sticking to the script. Okay, I have mana now. I have mana now, everybody can run really quickly, which is pretty good. I do need agonims, so we can run through trees and such, then it's actually gonna start being useful. Right now, it's just like... A bit of movement speed, which isn't too bad, I suppose. But, yeah. Alright, go get him. Go get him, friends. Can I buff up this guy's movement speed even more? Not really, but here you go, have a charge. Wait, if I'm on top of this and cast this again, okay, it deals damage again. I'm just kind of like experimenting a bit with how this ability even works. Yeah, get out of there, friends! You can't be slow, not on my watch. Yeah, you, don't worry about it. I have this figured out. I got it under control. Nobody's getting slowed, nobody's getting beaten up. I am support centaur. <laughs> okay, let's go. Storm. Easy. Not even a problem. I'm gonna go back really quick. Just heal up. Oh, we got one money, so I do one study. There you go. Mickey will do a study equivalent to the money. So we do one study. Alright, I added one minute to the timer. Grab a wind waker. It's probably not a bad idea. It's just something to, like, help me get out of sticky situations. I should also get an A on this guy thing. Alright, friends. I hope you appreciate this. This is now 40% damage reduction. Which is pretty fantastic if you ask me. That sounds kind of great. Okay. Question. This is based... On their that on on my teammate's strength, or is it based on? No, it's based on my strength. Okay. Okay, so we just want our teammates to uh, to trample on top of them. That will deal my strength and damage. So we want to also make sure we have a lot of strength. Very good. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna like, I'm, I'm driving for all of these Phantom Lancer, no big deal. Oh my god, that is way too many Phantom Lancers. Yeah, get him! Alright buddy, you gotta stop spamming that as much. Yeah, because it's, it's getting a little laggy. Okay, that's fine, we still have this going. <laughs> I, I like how this guy just walked into it. <laughs> it was just this random weaver. <laughs> Alright. Nice. Run, everybody! Run, run, run! Ah. I'm trying to keep them alive, but it's just not quite enough. Aghanim's shard. I mean, this increases my strength. I guess I'll get it. I'm not sure how exactly how useful it is, but I mean, it can't be terrible. I mean, I guess it could be terrible, but it should be fine. Hey, we all have flying movement. Oh, what? Oh, I think I got, got stunned or something. Spurbrider needs Axe, I think. Then he should be able to buff his movement speed. No, I don't think so. 
Like, because this just sets you to max movement speed. It's like one of those things where it doesn't actually give movement speed, you just get maximum movement speed. <laughs> Which is slightly different. It's, it's, it's slightly different. So is it a maze in Nature's Prophet Ultimate is the strat then? Pretty much. But, uh, you know. Asus, Nature's Prophet, Spectre, and Silence are kind of, kind of banned. Because <laughs> nobody wants to fight against that. Oh, this is so nice. Isn't it great to just have, like, permanent flying movement? I need way more mana, though. Look, my entire purpose in this game is just to make sure my team has flying movement and damage reduction and all of that stuff. And I think as long as I'm doing that, I'm doing a pretty good job, so... I'm fairly happy. Alright. There's a bit of a backdooring situation right now. Which is uh, slightly annoying. Alright. Not quite, that's fine. Do we get Octarine Core? Octarine Core isn't actually that much mana, though. I think Hex is the most mana. Hex is 9 mana region, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a ton of mana region now. That was actually a huge jump. Way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Want to get an A on disc? Just so I can't get caught by something. You know? Some of these ultimates can be a bit nasty. Yeah, yeah, that's, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about here. Yeah. Alright. Flying movement. Ah! <laughs> Alright, it is pretty hard to catch up to me. Nice! Let's go, Chrono! Whoa, buddy. Oh, no. Well, I had some hope there, but... Alright, we're taunted. I don't think I'm getting out of this one. Yeah! Ah! I got I got abandoned by the faceless void. That was there was a nice chromo chrono and then uh, and that was just kind of it. Oh no, we're getting beaten up by Huskar. Ironic. I think, I think they're gonna get Megas. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit. Alright, go get him. Yes! Alright, I'm here. Hex. Alright, it's fine. You can run on top of them if you want. No, 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 no. No, 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 I'm taunted. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Aeon Disc should come online soon. Stomp! Yes! Yes! Look at me go. Look at all of us go. Running around with infinite movement speed. I'll get rid of the Hood of Defiance. Who needs that anyway, right? Who needs boots, actually? Fuck boots. <laughs> Right? What are boots even for? Just get two hearts. Be tanky. Strength flick. Ah, dude. Look at us. Look at us go. Strength flink? What for? We're just running around. No, we're just going fast. We do actually have enough mana now to use this. Pretty much every time, right? I 
I wish I had more Stampede Talons. That would be pretty cool. Hello. No! Uh, don't do it to me. Okay. Yes! No! I'll help, buddy! I'm coming in. Everybody's coming in. 40% damage reduction. <laughs> it's too late. Damn it. <laughs> no, the Weaver! Oh. I'm trying really hard to defend here, but... It's a bit tricky. Oh. That RP missed. Got a hex. Nice. <laughs> I just like running at things with Centaur. I mean, it is pretty satisfying, is it not? Oh, wow. Nice. I don't think I can help. But I, I'm, I'm here. Hey, we hit one of those. No, 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 no. The Weaver again. That's really what Dota is at its core, right? Dota is just about one thing. Backdoor. The only thing that matters, the only thing that's an actual strategy. I should probably get boots anyway, so I can teleport places. Five armor. Okay. I got the hex. Oh, wait, there isn't, there isn't a real one. <laughs> ah, there's so many of these Phantom Lancers. They gotta be a real one somewhere, right? Very good. Okay, come on. Is this our time? I mean, Chronosphere is so freaking good. Very good. Go, 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 go. Come on. I have this. I need to lead it into a hex. Yep, got it. No! <laughs> oh, I hope I don't get killed by the Reaver or something. But I should be fine. Hell yeah, let's go, Centaur. Is that it? Whew. I just like drifting around with my Centaur. I mean, I didn't get any kills, but I did get a lot of assists, so I'll, I'll say that that was still fairly effective. <laughs> I went 0 4 and 27. Hey, it's not that bad, is it? <laughs> Oh, man. All right, that was kind of fun. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. We'll definitely appreciate that. Don't forget to check out our Kickstarter. Don't forget to check out Squarespace. There's a link in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.